Hello. I'll be back. One second. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Weekend Vinyasa One. Come, you got a I'm um, yep, Jalela. Hi, Karis. <laughs> Always the first one. Thank you. Um, welcome, everybody. Hello, Dagaho. Gamma, okay, my weekend. How are you guys feeling? Sing hello, yet team won. Hi, hi from, hi, is it Kwan from Malaysia? Hello, hello. So we did a vinyasa last Tuesday, which we did a lot of binding. How do you guys feel if you came to my class? Right, you go listen, just think you get hung, they home, right? Kath, first time to join. Okay, so welcome if it's your first time. <laughs> if it's not your first time and you came to Tuesday's class, how did your body feel? Right? How did you feel? Hi, Yoki. Hi, hello, everybody. Hi, my friends from Malaysia. <laughs> okay, so today, um, it will be based upon the same uh, kind of trajectory as vinyasa. So we'll be moving quite a lot. So Hello, hello. I'm sorry if I missed your, your messages. I'm just uh, explaining a little bit about today's class, vinyasa one. Um, uh, so if you're new, uh, just from, from, from me, I remember I did my first uh, vinyasa. Hello, 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 Eileen. Uh, if it's your first vinyasa class, it's a bit kind of like you, you get a headache, right? You're like looking up and down. You're not sure what the poses are, what you're doing. So um, always just take it easy if it's your first class, right? Uh, the beauty of kind of teaching online is that you can actually just watch and then do the practice later. Thank you, thank you, Agnes. Yeah, different angles. I know I have limited space. Oh, go away, Zila. Hosa'a. Right, so I'm sure you guys know the studios are open, right? You got the pure yoga, you got studio, ho jogula. I should be um, teaching next week. Uh, we're still confirming the schedule. So if you are in Hong Kong, uh, please come on. I come on into the studio. I teach at Pure Peninsula. So hopefully I'll see you there. Okay. So before we start today's class, uh, there's not going to be um, like we did a lot of twisting last time vinyasa. Like we did a lot of twisting last time vinyasa. So today is going to be a bit more overall. Uh, we will doing be doing a bit of binding, um, a bit of opening, a bit of building into our balanced standing poses. So um, I always say in the beginning of class, you know, every day you feel different. You know, if you're having like a very chillaxed weekend and, you know, you, you haven't stretched your body out, you're feeling a little bit kind of, uh, to mastic, right? Then you can just take it easy, you know, because um, whenever you practice, hello, hello, whenever you practice, um, especially if you're in a deep pose, if the teacher before comes and adjusts you or if you're trying to go a little bit deeper, you know that millimeter is like, Oh my goodness, right? Okay, so I want you to be very aware of that, especially now that we're practicing uh, online, right? So just being aware of that when you're doing your movements. Okay, what time is it? Let me see. I'm coming back. Give me a second. Okay. So we can have a few more seconds to touch. Seems like PM classes right now. Um, evening classes. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, for online or at the studio? At the studios all day. For online, I think they're cutting down two classes a day, so it's a little bit less. Yeah, my nail color is actually my daughter's. Um, you know, we've been in kind of not quarantining, but kind of like staying home, social distancing. So I had to use my daughter's nail polish. <laughs> Okay, that's why it's kind of coming off a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. Again, if you're practicing with any injuries or if you're something Okay, but if you're having the feeling like, okay, I'm ready, this is going to be a great day, then I welcome you to go deeper when I encourage you to do so. Okay? Okay, Karis, PM classes. Okay, so um, I'll talk to you after class. You know I'm always back after class right so I'm gonna swipe everybody swipe to the right if you don't want the comments okay and then let's begin so come to your mats sit cross-legged we're gonna start again seated 
um, like I reminded you guys before, uh, we will be doing the, well, traditionally what I teach is we always start with uh, Surya Namaskars. Okay, so take it easy. Um, hopefully you know by now, uh, because I'm going to take a little bit less time in explaining the movements, right? 即係儘量用少啲啊説話去教你點樣做拜日式㗎，所以儘量希望希望你識做，係咁係就可以歡迎你去睇。Okay, close the eyes. Hold my thumb. Ah, so right now, take a few deep breaths. If you need to sigh it out, sigh it out. Right, 你可以唞幾啖你自己嘅舒服嘅呼吸。Right, 可以嘆下氣，或或者你可以用鼻哥唞氣，任何嘢舒服就得㗎啦。Because as we move into the practice, we preferably want to just breathe through the nose in a controlled inhale and exhale. Right? But as we begin the practice, do whatever feels good. Stretch it out. Be prepared. And ground yourself. Okay, now as we come into a place of stillness, making sure that your spine is lengthened, your sit bones are grounded. 而家你拉完腰之後，攤完個氣之後咧，嘗試下穩定個人先， right, 坐定個人，拉長條腰， yeah, and just kind of connect 100% right now to your breath. You know, feeling the inhales, just have a little elongation of the spine, and as you exhale, just soften something that feels really stressed. It could be your face, it could be your shoulders. You know, make those conscious breaths, just a few times at your own time. Right, So having a gentle reminder for my regular students to always connect back to Tristana, Lord Uri and when you practice, right? The spine lifting, stomach pulling in and up a little bit more. Yeah. And your eye gaze, your dristi, always at a focus point. And your breath. Soon, so have my son, Ho Jung Gan. Join your hands into your heart center. Taking a moment to commit to your practice. Commit to listening to your body. And also commit to having a really good time. Three ohms. Inhale. Bow your head. Let's have a beautiful practice, everybody. Namaste. Slowly release your hands and come to the front of your mat, standing in Uttanasana. So feet are hip width apart, upper body is relaxed down. So hold your opposite elbows and just relax your upper body. Yeah, so engaging your legs. If you need to micro bend the knees, you can. Yeah, otherwise, try to keep them straight. At least the thighs are engaged. Yeah, at least go thigh base open. Yeah, relax the neck. Yeah. So you and she go gang feng song there. So making sure it's not cranking up. You're not looking down just yet. You're relaxing all the way down. Shift the weight over to the toes a little bit more. Zhong sen ba hang gao jing dao xiu xiu. Staying here for two more breaths.
You bring your hands onto the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Kapilajan to you. You bring your right hand to the middle, uh, either with a block or flat palm. You bend your left knee, uh, bend your right knee. Inhale, left hand up. Come into a gentle twist. So, cook so you your left hand. Lengthen your spine. Lengthen your spine. Okay, you can relax the head down, whatever feels good. Okay, if it feels good, you can open the chest. Okay, so think, reach up and back. Yeah, bring your left hand down, switch sides, bend the left knee, inhale, right hand up, twist the body. So go, you know, so the right, so the leg go, right, so leg go, since you hang out. Yeah, remind you that you need to twist the belly, chest, shoulders, and then the head goes. Release the hands down, relax back into ragdoll, relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold here to a halfway lift. Okay, pulling the lower abdomen in, protecting the spine. Right? Breathing into towards the upper ribcage, lengthening. Shoulders are way away from the ears. Hold here. Bring your hands into your hips, and so tie you. Flat back, come all the way up. Good. Exhale, bring your feet together. Samasthi Tihi. Good. Come to the top of the mat. Good. So we're doing three rounds of A together. Sang go A. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump. Knees are option. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Mungo full cup. So before we come into uh, focusing on the breath, I want you to make sure your fingers are spread out wide. Your eyes are looking towards your ankles. Make sure you do not see the heels. Heels are slightly turned out. So you don't want to like bring the heels close to each other. Right? You want to make sure they're parallel. Bend your knees, walk or jump, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Feet are together. Inhale, arms up, flat back. Exhale, samasthiti. Number two, kape. Exhale, santa bade hatiti. Arda uttanasana. Walk or jump. Chaturanga, full pose or option knees. Inhale up. Exhale down. So now you have that down dog intact. Keep the body still. Feeling the rib cage expand. But the hands and feet are becoming very, very still as the breath moves. Yeah, try your best to shift the weight back to the heels a little bit more. Lengthen your spine. Bend the knees, look forward. Step or walk, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti. Number three. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Inhale. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, look forward, bend the knees, inhale, walk or jump, halfway lift, exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti. Take a moment, be still. Eyes are looking forward. Okay, remember not to burn a hole with the eyes. Soften the eyes, but they're focused. So, namaskar B. First one, slightly slower. Ukatasana. Bend your knees, knees together. Inhale, arms up. Bring your palms together, just looking up. Good. Exhale, fold forward, uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Vinyasa. Jump back, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Right leg steps forward. Inhale, arms up, warrior you want, and stay here. Eyes are looking up. Yeah, so holding here for about two more breaths and reminding you that when we step the right leg forward into warrior one, we're actually still exhaling. Okay? And then the inhale will take you up into the warrior one because immediately when the exhale comes, you're going to vinyasa back down for the second set. Okay? So inhale. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Inhale up. 
exhale, 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 left leg, exhale, then inhale, arms up. This round, we're going to go a little bit slower, remember? So hold here. Eyes are looking up. Yeah, so you can feel like the right hip's moving forward, left hip's moving back. So, if you have a little bit of a little bit of a but it's actually fine. It's following the, the rhythm of your own breath. Okay, so if you're breathing fast, it's fast. So you need to lengthen your inhales and exhales a little bit longer. Let the body, the movement connect with the rhythm of the breath. Look forward, bend your knees. Inhale, walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana. Utkakuksatelko. Tasana. Arms up. Exhale, samastitihi. Okay, regular students, uh, please just do Sir Namaskar B at your own time. Otherwise, you can follow my breath. Okay? Samastitihi. Let's begin. Ukatasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Right leg forward. Exhale. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Back down. Chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale, left leg, exhale, inhale, warrior one, exhale, back down, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down, five breaths, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, Three, inhale, Uriana Banda, guys. Exhale, four, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Ukatasana, bend your knees, arms up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Standing still, eyes are looking forward. Kedengoyan, Gaija Fuka. You should feel the body is quite warm, sweaty. <laughs> Hold here. Good. Inhale, arms up and stay here. Good. So reach your hands up and bring your dristi in between the palms. Hold a little bit side so you can see me. Good. Push your thighs forward. Good. Lift the chest up. Good. Keep your head where it is as if it's looking straight up and reach your hands back. Good. So you're just a gentle back bend here. So don't think I want to go back. Think lift the chest. Lift the chest. Lift the chest, ground the legs. Inhale, go back for five. If it feels good, you can drop the head back. Four, three, two, chest up, and one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, flat back slowly for bed. Keep your legs straight. Yeah, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into plank. Drum turn now. Good, keep your toes tucked. Good, see your body hop. Good. Spread your feet maybe uh, a little bit wider than the hips. Good. Now drop your hips down like they're hovering off the floor. So Okay, hold here. Adjust the feet if you need to because we're going to slowly inhale. Look forward into a modified upward facing dog. Wow, so sweaty all of a sudden. Because oh, I turned the AC off. It's okay. Hot yoga, guys. Hold here. Open the shoulders. Make your legs strong. Good. Hold here. Now feel like your hands are pulling back and the chest is pulling forward. Lift the chin. Hold for five. Four. Three. Strong legs. Two. And one. Downward dog. Press back with the core. Pull the core in. And move into downward facing dog. Hmm. Bring your feet together. Yeah. Inhale the right leg up, uh, which however height you want to bring it, it could be just kind of chill, but keep it engaged. Okay. Now lift your left heel super high, draw it down to go. Yeah, look in between the hands. Yeah. If you have um, trouble stepping the right leg forward, lift the left heel super high 
Bring the knee in toward the chest. Hold here, still in an angle with the arms. You can shift forward, lift the core up, and step. Okay? Keep your left uh, heel up. Inhale, come into a high lunge and hold here. Good. I hope you're sweating, guys. I'm sweating. Hold here. Good. Bring your hands into your heart center. Eyes are looking forward in one place. Yeah, so try to look forward. Um, if it's not the screen, find a place that's still. It could be like a letter on the wall, something. Just hold there and don't leave your gaze, okay? Holding here. Make your left thigh super strong. Yeah, and slowly lift your right heel up and hold. Find your balance and release it back down. Do you feel that? Good, your calf should be like, hello, hello. Okay, so do that again. Left leg strong, inhale, right heel up. Hold for five, four, three, two, and release it down. Hold here, inhale, arms up. Good, exit, now tilt forward. Okay, bring your right rib cage grazing your thigh. Hold here. Find your breath. Get lengthening forward. So we're just awakening the right hip. So we're resting, kind of resting the upper body on the thigh. Hold here for five, four, three, right hip back, two, and one. Hands down. Slowly step back into downward facing dog. Regular students, vinyasa. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Downward dog. Feet together. So come on, say. Inhale the left leg up. Yeah. So they can hold down, can they? Cut the head, but not sorry. But you have to stand up. Don't let it fall down. Okay. Right heel super high. Your good side should go. Look forward. Yeah. Bring your knee in towards the chest. Still angled. Shift forward into plank. And step forward. Hold here. Take a moment when you're ready. Legs are strong. Hands are free. Inhale. The arms go up. And hold here. <laughs> hold the horn. So and so, I somehow don't got hands into the heart center. Hold here. Oh, I need to turn the air on later. Find your breath. Yeah. So, see, same thing. Hold one place with the eyes. Look at it. Wipe the sweat if it's dripping in your eyeballs. Yeah. Lift your left heel up. Take a moment and feel, and bring it back down. Good. Now we're gonna engage the back leg strong. Sit deeper, lift it up, hold for five, four cores pulled in, three, two, and one, release, inhale, arms up, exhale, oh, lean forward, get that left rib cage touching the thigh, from here, shooting back with the legs, arms shooting forward, hold here, for five, four, three, squeeze the arms, two, and one, hands down, with awareness, don't flick it back. Gently step forward and back into downward facing dog. Mm, vinyasa, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Mm, five breaths. I'm gonna go full cup. Breathing through the nose, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Step your right leg forward. Inhale, come up. So we're going to set up for Trikonasana, eventually moving into a variation of half moon. So make sure your legs are in place. Use the block. You can find it when you need it, if you need it. Okay? So Gao Jun, you will show you Yong Lai Zhao, Gida Hai San Tai Fu Gan. Okay? Inhale. Exhale, pivot. Right hand to the right ankle, left hand to the sky. So whatever your Trikonasana is, hold here. You reach your left hand forward over the ear and hold. Okay, now imagine that your left hand is holding a ballet bar. Stuck on the wall. Hold on to it. Imagine. Okay? Now hold on to that bar and with the left hip, press back, back, back. Feel the lengthening of the side of the left body. Now open the chest. Hold on to the bar. Hold on tight for five. Four, scoop the right hip under, three, two, and one. Bring your left hand back up. Exhale on the hip. Half moon balancing, guys. Come into it. Okay, I'm gonna move the leg back, otherwise the head's gonna get cut off. Good, and hold here. 
still cut off. <laughs> Good, find your breath. Okay, so your right hand is on the floor with the balance. Now take the left hip, work with it. Try to stack it on top of the right hip. Good, flex your left toes. And hold. Good. Now keep your left hand on your hip. Rotate the left hip down as if you're coming into standing splits. Do you feel the difference? Yeah? So square the hip and then open. Good. Square the hip down so the toes are pointing down and open. Left toes pointing to the left. Do that two more times. Square and open. Square and open. Hold. Good. Now bring your hands into your heart center. So square the hips. Bring your hands into your heart center. Find your balance. Good. Now open the hip. Whoa. And hold. So slowly feel the hip open for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down. Step back into Trikonasana. Good. And vinyasa. Do you guys feel the sweat dripping on my mat? Do you hear it? Holy sh sheesh. Upward dog and downward dog. Good. Step your left leg. Trikonasana. Okay, come into the pose. Hold on. Hold you. Good. Right hand up. And hold. Good. I should always remind everybody to always bring a towel too. Good. Reach your right hand over. So go yao. So you go So pretend you're holding onto a bar, something, a door handle. Hold on to it. Now engage that hand and pull the right hip back. Open the chest. Open the chest. You're gonna pull the right hip back. Hold on to that. Open for five. Four. Reach. Three. Two. And one. Right hand back up. Right hand on the hip. You come into your half moon and step back. Okay. Facing the head. Okay. So now you want to open the hip. So you're actually stacking the right hip on top of the left hip and hold. Find your breath. Good. Now square the hip. Square it. Hold it here. Open. Square. Hold the core in. Open. Square. Two more times. Open. Square. Open. Last time. And square. Now keep the square and, and bring your hands into your heart center. Stay here or try to open the hip for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, trikonasana, up, and vinyasa, hands down, chaturanga, <laughs> inhale, up, sweaty, exhale down, hold here, you gotta find your breath, Whew. oh, no close, holding for two more breaths here, Good. Step your right leg forward. Inhale, come up. Good. Like you're standing up for Pasarika Padukutanasana. I'm going to face you. Okay. I don't want to slip. Okay. So turn your toes slightly out. Okay. We're going to come into a goddess squat. Okay. So first, bend your knees. And how does that feel? Do I need to open my legs wider or closer? Okay. Okay, once you have that stance, okay, stay here. <laughs> so if you look down at your toes, you should be able to see your toes, right? Don't have the knees collapsed in, okay? So sit deep. Bring your hands onto your legs and sit deep until you feel the stretch, right? Into the hip crease. And you really feel the thighs work and hold here. Okay, sit a little bit deeper. Okay, bring your right elbow to the knee. Okay, so noticing the hip doesn't lift up. Drop it down, okay? With your left hand, push. So it's coming to uh, kind of like a triangle pose, the side of the body, right? Lengthen your spine and hold. Sit deeper. 
Good. If this feels good, you can extend the left hand over your ear. Good. Or keep it on your thigh. Up to you. Hold here. The right hand is chill. Connecting back to your breath. Enjoying the air con. Hold for five. Four. Three. Lengthen. Two. And one. Bring your left hand back on the thigh. Come back to center and hold. So press the knees back. Lengthen your spine. Bring your left elbow down. Take a moment and just press. Lengthen. Is this side tighter? Yeah, for me, it's actually this side feels tighter for me. I can really feel it in my hip crease. Good. Reach the arm over the ear as an option. Sit deeper and breathe. Don't let the hips come up, guys. Sit deep for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the hand back down. Come back into the squat. Open the knees. Sit deeper. Find your breath. Good. Stay where you are. Actually, I'm not going to turn. I'm just going to vocally cue you because I want to kind of work with you guys in this pose. I don't want to come out. Now tuck your tailbone. Good. As if you're in cat pose. Yeah? You're tucking the tailbone and you're curling your spine. Curling your spine. Good. Now from here, lean the body back. Lean it back. Keep the tuck of the tailbone there. Lean the body back. Do you feel the thighs? Hold here for five, four, sit deeper. Three, two, and one. Come back up. Good. And rest here. Good. <sighs> you guys tired? Good. It's kind of like when your body's tired, but your, 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 your soul is like energetic, right? So we're going to do that again, right? Two, Make the soul happy, okay? Bend your knees down and hold. Stay here. I'm gonna do it this way so you can see the tuck a little bit more. Hope I don't slip. Okay, get hands on your knees. Yeah, so when you rest, sometimes this happens. The bum goes back, right? So let's go straight into the calf pose. Tuck, sit deeper, lean back, stack the body. Good, hold here. Use the hands to press the knees back for five, four, three, Two, and hands into the heart. Stay here, keep the tailbone tucked. Good, now uh, now do the opposite, push the butt back and lean forward, halfway, halfway, halfway. Hold, good, so lengthen your spine. If you have the space, reach your hands forward for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Good, make sure you're still standing on your mat. And when you can, rotate to the right, do vinyasa. Hands down, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. Two breaths here, let the full Okay, here comes the upper body, guys. Okay, plank, hold here. Good, find your breath. So when you do a straight arm plank, it works the arms equally the core and legs. So when we're in low plank, it focuses on the core a little bit more. So let's just do high plank for now, for now and hold. Holding for 10. Nine, push the ground away. Eight, seven, legs are strong. Six, five, drop the hips lower if they're high. Two, two, and side plank. Flip over towards your outer right foot. Inhale the left hand up and hold. Okay, you can look down to the ground, push the ground away. Don't collapse. Push the ground away and hold for eight. Seven, option. Six, lift the left foot. Five, four, three. Now everybody lift it up. Two, and step forward. Come into a low lunge. Bring your back knee down, hands on your knees and hold. Sit deep into the pose. The last class I thought it was the most challenging class to teach whilst talking. I think this class is the, the most sweaty. Totally sweating a lot, which is good, yeah? Just make sure you don't slip. Sit a little bit deeper. Good, now bring your hands into the inside of the foot. Good, and if you can, you can do lizard pose. So that means you can bring your elbows down, or if you have a block, right, you can let, uh, elevate the body a little bit higher, or possibly bring your elbows to the block, whatever works for you, coming into lizard pose. 
and lengthen. Find your breath. Try your best not to drop into it. I taught a class before. I didn't want you guys to drop into it, right? So hold where you are. Good. So this is the best angle to see, right? That you're not actually leaning over towards the right. You're putting weight onto this left foot and keeping the hips as square as they can. So both your elbows are even in weight. So long as you can hold your back toes, inhale, lift your right knee up. Inhale, lift your right knee up. And hold. Find your breath. Holding for eight. Seven, elongate. Six. Five, don't go again. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring your knees down. Bring your hands up. Get step back into your down dog. Okay, regular students, vinyasa. Chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Come back into plank. Get, so look at your mat. And just go push the mat away. Like I want to lift my body away from the mat. Pull the core in. Your body, yeah, don't forget the legs. Legs are strong. Core, arms, everything is working as one. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, flip it to the outside of the left foot. When you're ready, right hand goes up. So know your modification. You're more than welcome to bring the left knee down, okay? Six, five, right leg comes up. Four, three, two, and step forward. Back knee down. Hands on the knees, inhale, and sit deep into the lunge. <sighs> Find your breath. Oh, I'm so tired today all of a sudden. I'm tired and sweaty. Hold here. Yeah, lizard, hands down. Yeah, elbows down. So in my mindset, I have kundiyasana in my brain. Right, coming into that pose. Right, so maybe we can try kundiyasana. Or the other one I want to do was uh, Vishwamitrasana. So let's see what we can do, okay? What had been a long job? What's a yak joy ago? What's a what's a long job? Don't hold you. Don't drop the left hip, guys. Remember to square. Tuck your toes. Inhale, left knee up. Draw us up. I got lay her day. So go good and hung hung. How you get? So feel the left heel shooting back and feel the heart go forward, lengthen. Yeah, lie chan, lie chan for five, four, even weight on the elbows. Three, two, and one step back good and downward dog take a vinyasa one more time exhale inhale and exhale <sighs> step your right leg forward okay let's come into let's come into kunyasana how about that yeah kunyasa let's, let's learn something new Okay, so stay in your lunge. I know it's your right leg still, but keep your right leg there. So what do you want to see? Okay, so for those that are still working your kundiyasana, uh, you can actually start practicing and stretching your, your uh, flexibility by working the shoulder underneath the knee and just staying here. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So you will make the ping hang la. So your hands are down, kind of like a plank pose, yeah? And then from here, lift your back knee up like we did earlier and stay here. Okay, the heel can come up, up to you. Okay, if we're going to come into full pose, let's do it together. Let's do it this way. So bring your shoulder underneath, hold your hands down. Good. Extend the right leg forward, lean forward, and lift up. For five. Four. Three, breathe. Two, and one. Come back down, back into the lunge. Good, keep working the depth. Good, for five, four, three, lengthen. Two, and one. Jump switch, guys. Good, and hold. So you got me, Mingdi. Do you understand it a little bit more? Okay, so you have to have that flexibility of the shoulder underneath the knee, okay? Let's do that again. So for my 
uh, regular students, just come straight into Kundi Asana, okay? No need to wait for me. Otherwise, work the flexibility. Bring the shoulder underneath, bring your hands down. Good. Tuck your back toes, lift up, and stay here. Good. If you're coming into full pose, hold here for six, five, four. Find your breath. Three, two, and one. Come back into the lunge, guys. Back into the lunge. Get underneath and lengthen. All right, don't feel constricted. For three, two, and one. Plank. Get a chaturanga. Inhale up. Open. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Mugha Fuka. Hmm. Okay, look forward. Malasana. Ah, squat. Yeah, this feels good. And hold. Ah. So really feel um, the hips ground down. And when your hands are in the heart center, your elbows are pressing back. So you're lengthening the spine. Okay, if you need to sit on a block, sit on the block. Right? And hold here. I was like, oh, I'm so tired today. I'm like, okay, let's do Kundiyasana. Okay, I guess that's how my body and my mind are thinking. Maybe my brain is like, I'm tired. My body's like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so let's keep going, okay? So we're just going to take a gentle bind. Um, if you're working your bind, like if you're still opening the shoulders, you Just sit on the block and just work the bind here. So you don't have that um, that focus on keeping that squat still. Okay, so just find your malasana and lengthen your spine. Yeah. And then take your right hand and bind. Yeah. So with the bind, you want to open the chest towards the left, or you can keep your head looking down. Right, so it's kind of like how we twisted before. You really want to feel like the body twisting. And the head is kind of like, I know it's important, but I feel like it's just the cherry on the Sunday. Like if you want to look back, you can, but you don't feel like you like cherries, then you don't have to, okay? Hold here. Good, now lift your right heel up. Move your left foot to the center. Good, and hold. Take a moment. Now you're gonna shift your weight over towards the left foot. Good, and try to stand up with the bind. Good, find your breath. Still your dristi. And hold here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Look down slowly. Good. And come back into a squat and hold. Yeah, so uh, Tristana is very important in this, yeah? The core, the gaze, and the breath. Okay? If you have one that's lost, it's really, really hard. Okay? You'll probably just hold it and then your face will turn all red and you can't breathe. Okay? So take care. So bind on your left side good. and hold. So you can look down, look up, anything that feels good. Find your breath. Or stay seated in a block. Anything that feels like you're challenged, but you're okay with it. Yeah. Lift your left heel, take a moment. Walk your right foot in. Good. Now shift your weight over towards that right foot. Find your balance. Good. And when you're ready, slowly stand up. Look down to the ground. Woo, woo, woo. Good. When you're ready, standing straight. Lean the shoulders back. Find your breath for five, four, three, two. And slowly come back down with control. Halfway release, come into Malasana, and hold. Oh, that felt good. Nice bind, nice opening. Yeah, okay, so before we vinyasa, I'll give you the option to do bakasana to jump back. So we stay for eight to 10 breaths, okay? So remember when I taught it, um, was it last week? I taught it with a block on the forehead. So you can do that, okay? So if you don't know, just Place your head on the block and try to lift your feet up, okay? So set up. Is this the right angle? It should be okay. Yeah, so your hands are parallel. 
just like plank. Bend your knees, bring it to the outside, inside, whatever your practice is. Shift forward, pull your core in. Good, bring your toes together and lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale downward facing dog. Five breaths, and go full cup. Okay, you have the option to come into child's pose or stay in downward dog. Okay, hold here. Hmm. Okay, and then we're going to go to the child's pose. Yi Tong Sik. Take this time if you need to drink some water or wipe your sweat. Yeah, we're taking five breaths here. I'm gonna focus. Good. Bring your chin up and lie belly down on your mat. Fun the Yeah. So just lie down. Um, you can bring your forehead down or bring your chin down. Whatever feels good. Okay. Make change the mat. To see. Good. And hold. Good. Now reach your arms forward like Superman. The, the most you'll see me do in these live, live things is my body moving in circles. Funny. Which angle is the best? So keep your head down. I'm going to keep my head up because you can't, probably can't hear me. Lift your right hand and left foot off the mat. Yoga Joga Lele. And hold. So with the right hand is reaching forward, the left leg is reaching back. And release. Left hand, right foot, Jaw Sao Yoga. Hold here. And release. Rest your head. Take a few breaths here. Okay, extend your hands one more time in Superman. Right hand, left foot. So try not to think too much. Let the body go. Right foot, right hand, left foot. And reach and kick. Okay, now switch. Left hand, right foot. Hold. And switch. Right hand, left foot. Hold. Keep reaching back with the leg. And switch. Left hand, right foot. Hold. And release. Come down. Good. Then come on your elbows like in a sphinx and hold here. Yeah, I think this angle is okay. You can see me better. Uh, at least you can see my, my head, my hands, and my feet. Holding here. Good. Now reach your right hand. So you want, when you reach the right hand forward, shift a bit away towards the left and reach it forward. Good. And hold. Good. Lift your left leg up so your elbows are still down. Now bend the knee and hold the foot and kick up. It's your opposite. So the left hand is assisting you by kicking up. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Elbows down. So it's more of like a upper back bend, I guess. Good. And if you can lift the thigh higher, you can. Good. Reach forward. Bend the right knee, swing it back, connect. Stay here if it's enough for you, or if it feels better, just lie down. Whatever feels good. Okay, but feel the stretch. Good, kick up. So, and hold. So, thigh doesn't have to lift too high, but I want you to open the chest. Three, two, and one, and release. Head down, take a moment and rest. <sighs> okay, back on your elbows. Yeah, so make sure you have a mat underneath the hands. We're gonna try to go a little bit deeper and see how it goes, okay? So reach the right hand back, hold the foot. Now here, straighten your elbow and kick the body back. So what it does is kind of like the leg kicks back to open the shoulder and chest. Good, hold here for five, four, three, kick up, two, and one. Elbows down, release. Switch sides, left hand, reach back. If you want to go deeper, walk the hand a little bit further back. Yeah? And kick up and hold. So you're actually really strengthening the hamstrings here by kicking back with the leg for five, four, 
three, two, and one, and release. Come into child's pose. So push back, you can sit. Okay, inhale slowly, come up, turn around, lie down on your mat. Good, and hold. Okay, shift with the right position. And lie down. Okay. Okay, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the mat. We're just gonna come into bridge. So hold your heels. So you don't have to hold the heels, just make sure you're able to touch them. I want to jump, boon, cue, sit. Good, hold here. Now tuck your tailbone so you feel like the back is flat onto the mat. And just lift your hips a little bit. Good, and I want you to feel that the tailbone tucked under and the core is pulled in. Okay, hold here. Now if you have a block, put the block in between the knees like this, okay? And keep your knees squeezing into the block and lift it up. Okay, we're not looking for height, we're looking for awareness of the core tucked, the legs pressing up. Good. Hold here. Make sure the block doesn't drop for five, four, three, two, and slowly roll the tailbone down, slowly. Good. And it's coming to soup the Baddha Konasana. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Good, and hold. Good, set up. Good, you can use the block or not, up to you. Good, lift the hips up. Slowly, fully aware. Good, and lift up and hold. Make sure your imaginary block is squeezing together. Good, open the front of the body for six. Five, if you notice, my toes are up. Four, you can relax them. Three, I have a dark one, lift the toes up. And one, slowly come back down. Good, and come into soup, the Baddha Konasana, and hold here. Okay, we're gonna come into thread the needle. So bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. And pull in towards the chest. So yoga now by Joseph Dobosheni. Good, stretching into piriformis. We don't have much time to do pigeon. So let's just do a gentle thread the needle. Good, if you want an extra extension of the left leg, interlace your fingers behind the thigh and straighten the leg. Good, you're more than welcome to grab the foot and pull in. Yeah, so more kind of pull down. I feel like when I pull down, I feel like my hips ground a little bit more. Right? But if you pull away from you, the hips come up. Yeah? So think when you're pulling the leg, pull it down. Right? As if you're taking the leg and go pulling in towards the hip socket and hold. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the left knee, stay here. So you're back into your first thread the needle. Good. Now, you can watch me first, but just come into a cow facing legs. So the left knee crosses the right this way. Yeah. So the left heel towards the left hip, the right foot is across. Good. Interlace your fingers underneath the left knee again. Same as thread the needle, but now the knee is on top of your chest and pull in. Good. So getting that cow facing posture stretch here, lean towards the hip flexors, some people it's more the glutes. Yeah. Different bodies, different feelings, but some feeling of some sorts and hold. <sighs> Five more breaths here, move a full cup. And, and gently release, just bring your feet parallel and hold. Soles of the feet on the floor. Take a moment for the lower back to just go, ah, relax. And then switching sides. Left ankle, right knee, pull it in and hold. Good, just stay here for like three to five breaths before you do your modification or your alternate. Good, and hold. Okay, 
Good, and when you're ready, you can do the same thing you did before. Straighten the leg, hold the foot if that feels good, but make sure you're not pulling that way. You're pulling this way. Yeah, down and then back. Good, for five, four. Always getting that extra stretch when you pull the pinky toe side down. Yeah, you can really feel it deeper and towards the back of the legs. Three, two, and one. So just bend your right knee, stay here. Yeah, cross the left knee over on top of the right knee. Yeah, so again, sorry, if you're unable to hold the knee, you can take a towel or some sort of strap to help you. Yeah, so you're going to drop those together. Get a whole young bok chai with a sow, young timokan, a water thigh, or anything. Five more breaths here and go full cut. Pull it a little bit more in, roll the tailbone back down, and gently release. So bring your feet just again parallel so that the sides of your feet are on the edges of the mat. Good, and hold. And bring your right ankle just grazing the left knee and drop your knees towards your right. Look to the left. So again, still stretching the hips and a little bit in towards the IT band. Ah, all cooled down now. <laughs> so you should really feel it on the left hip. Do you feel it? If you don't, you can actually use the foot and weigh down a little bit more. And make sure that left shoulder is still grounded. Okay? So like your right leg is that anchor to pull, pull down, push down as much as the stretch needs. Yeah, switching sides, come back to the center. Right ankle, left knee, and then drop your knees over towards your left, look over your right. If you do this position, you can feel like you don't have to do it. Your left leg is on the left side, and you can lift it a little bit. Or your leg is on the left side, and your leg is on the left side, and your leg is on the left side. And you can lift it a little bit. Good. Good. So you can feel like your left leg is on the left side, 又帶俾前嗰陣時，輕微嘅伸展嘅感覺。For five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Get that straight in your legs. Okay, we're not finished. We still need to do a supine twist with eagle legs. So just lie straight here. Realign the body. Okay, if you have an inversion in your practice. Okay, you can do the inversion now. So if you're practicing shoulder set or shirshasana, you can do it now. Then afterwards, you do this twist. Okay. So cross your right, uh, left leg, uh, right leg over the left leg. Now go by jogger shambi, and drop it over to the left. You go let him do high dollop, right? Top dollop, or whatever. Have shoulder stand. You can do the dollop first, then do this twist. Close your eyes. How many times? So once you come into your pose, just relax the body, right? Not like before where we're using a bit of strength to go deeper, and now we're just relaxing the body, right? Letting the weight of gravity bring you deeper into the pose, or not. Just relax. Chin back to center, switching sides. If you're still in your version, you're in your inversion, you're still inside the inversion until we finish this, and then you complete your practice after. Ming Jun Han Jobi, we both see the night, am I? Last five breaths, relax. So relax the hand, the legs, you can train from some of some time. You bring your chin forward, come back to center. A gentle hug of the knees in towards the chest. Inversions come down, do the twist, and then eventually, Shavasana, everybody. Okay, your feet are as wide as the mat, hands are by the sides of the body, palms facing up. Close your eyes, Hamadayana. Okay, so stay in Shavasana. So 
always the first thing is to relax your jaw. Relax your face. So really feeling if there's any tension still left, still left in the body. Right, so just consciously let it relax. So Right, so and always make those subtle adjustments, like if you have a bun or something or the glasses, right? Take them off. You know, make the effort just to take anything that's uncomfortable or kind of just, you know, bugging you a little bit, especially with the head and the hair. Right. So just take it out and lie down, you know. Take a few deep inhales and exhales relax the body and once you feel comfortable is when you let go So get up, hang on, you fong song, fang in, you fong song. Pow day, fong song, or sun tie lover, they get pow day. There's no right or wrong in Shavasana, just as long as you feel that. You're surrendering and relaxing. Your body really deserves this time of rest, letting you absorb all the benefits of class here in Shavasana. Making sure that your face is relaxed. The skin of the neck is melting down towards the mouth. You're more than welcome to stay in Shavasana. If you're ready and you want to come up, take a deep stretch with the body. And then bend your knees and roll over towards your right. Slowly come into a comfortable seated position. Good. Hands into your heart center. Take this moment to thank yourself for your efforts, for making that commitment this weekend, or weekday, evening or night, wherever you are in the world, to really, you know, dedicate this time for yourself, for your own well-being. You know, sometimes it's very hard to find time, and you did, and you committed. Right? So thank you. Thank you for joining your practice with mine and spending this time with me together. Let's close together with one O. Inhale. Thank you, namaste. Thank you so much. Good. And if you are still in Shavasana, to take a few seconds to turn the phone off. 
Good, and I am back with you here. Good, hi everybody. Hello. Thank you everybody for joining me. Good, I hope you had a sweaty good time like I did. <laughs> and um, I really wanna wish everybody happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, have a great weekend. And again, if you have any questions or if you have any concerns in regards to the practice, remember that you're more than welcome to shoot me, shoot me a message, um, write a message in the comments, and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay, so thank you all for joining us today's class, right? Also, I'd like to thank you for being a mother's day happy today. Okay, and if there are any questions about today's class or any questions about the practice, you can send them in the comments or you can send me a message. No problem, right? Okay, and sorry, I was so sweaty today. <laughs> and next time, I think uh, in my next class, if we do another vinyasa, I will tell you to bring a towel. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your Saturday, guys. Okay, thank you so much. And yes, I will see you at the studio soon. Uh, I teach up here, Peninsula, so um, I will probably see you sometime next week. Okay, okay, thanks everybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye.